Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Victoria 3, our Japanese Empire and our crazy Emperor Mitsuomi Yamato. Um, we are still on the fight basically in the last years of this game for world power number one. Um, yeah, we're just settling after our last conflicts, just last episode, just the formality of taking over to Korea as a puppet state. Went to the situation where France intervened, so we had a little bit of another conflict. Basically, now we fought all the European powers, apart from the Germans and Austrians, I think. What nice partners. <laughs> uh, yeah, apart from this, uh, we're just like re rebalancing Japan a little bit, trying to extend our economy and trying to be better. We just sent an expedition to the North Pole to be the first ones there to get up even more prestige. Um, just looking at the trade routes in the... Uh, pause um i just saw a weird phenomena i just ordered here by the number of goods just to get an overview of who we are trading with to what extent and i was surprised that to see the united states of america so high up and basically they are our main they take a lot of our explosives but they supply us with tons of grain despite us being the world's biggest producer in grain and they sell us a lot of tobacco which i guess and sugar which for, uh, I don't know, for 1930s a little bit, I mean, America for sure also had big agricultural potential at this time. It's kind of reasonable. Um, the funniest or for me the, the, the weirdest thing in here, of course, also the German, uh, North German Federation is here, huge trade partner. Good thing to see is basically that we take a lot of resources and we do export also here fertilizer, explosives. And let's say here, oh, what? To the Heavenly Kingdom, also luxury clothes. We also some a lot of industrial goods here. Oh, weapons to the North Germans, wow. And Zulu is our... Holy shit. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to show you something else, but this is too interesting for me right now. Zulu, uh, okay, unrecognized power. And they have capable of... At least they have quite some coal mines, okay. So unlike our vessels, the Koreans, the Zulu, build coal mines and sell them with some good price to Japan. While here uh, we have the potential of 100 coal mines that I can't extend because of lacking uh, foreign investment or stuff like this. Well, I hope it's coming. Can't repeat myself often enough. Um... So much about this and what i wanted to show you actually was this weird thing we are importing 7,000 units of grain from the us and we are re-exporting 2.2 million uh, k no, not million 2.2 k grains back to mexico so basically i don't know what kind of wall is happening in here and what kind of border wall or so on um it seems to be profitable to ship everything over the Atlantic or uh, the Pacific, sorry guys. Or it's going via Alaska, I'm not sure. We are kind of the broker for the Americans and the Mexicans. Um, yeah, I mean, we could stop both. But actually, I feel like the grain price with minus 10% is quite well. And we're still exporting now to other countries a lot. We could, of course, just stop the import from the US, but... I feel like it's fair and okay for the moment. So actually, we, let's just go in and get going. We need to have an eye here on um, the revolu revolution speed going on over here. Since, yeah, I don't want a revolution, but if it would pop up too high, we would give in probably an act universal suffrage. Yeah, this Korean thing with the extra infamy kind of hold us back because, you know, I was talking about taking over Kanak here, maybe. Um... What kind of, I mean, for rubber, probably nice. A little bit of oil logging. Yeah. I mean, in, by the end of the, the game, also the, uh, the infamy isn't that relevant anymore. However, I just don't want to warmonger like a crazy around, you know. Just because we have in-game a couple of years left, I don't want to, yeah, you know, stop role-playing and uh, go just to full... Uh, full-scale escalation i mean kanak here is actually really kind of why is it 12 12 plus 16 is again like 38 uh 38 extra um 38 extra infamy down here for just taking over like these actually kind of not very valuable lands how far are we away here? Oh wow, base reluctance. Come on, overcome your reluctance, Vietnam. 
you betrayed us, not we. Not, it was not the other way around. So, come on, guys, get over yourself. Just checking if we really in China, if we also used all of our potential. It looks like it. Oh. Oh. Here we still can build some coal mines in Alaska. Let's, yeah, max them. We won't have enough uh, workers over here, but maybe, maybe let's also extend the port. With a little bit of luck, there will be people moving over here. And a boiler explosion. A factory in the Hawaiian Islands has been rocketed by a tremendous boiler explosion, with dozens dead or injured. The story of this tragedy has quickly become a national event. The scalding steam rushed out of the burst boiler and into the faces of the men on the shop floor. If the blast itself or the flying debris didn't get them, then the steam surely did. These events are simply the price of progress. Workers should not be exploited. Hmm. Mm, yeah, actually, it's just in Hawaii, so actually, I couldn't care less. Um, we don't want more political strength for the revolution uh, for re revolutionary people right now. So, I come on, lower strat in Hawaii. Who cares? <laughs> Oops. Actually, now because we also need some more higher rank, and we're already in Hawaii. Let's build a naval base up here. I've just realized that also in Alaska, come on, there's not enough peasants. But let's extend our naval presence here in the Pacific. Since the United States are our one of our main trade partners, we realized. And let's actually prove the relations just to make sure. But also to secure the trade route and also to have a certain edge on them. Uh, it's interesting to have them here. It wiped it. Mexicans to our... Interesting, interesting. The Mexicans would all join our customs union. I mean, how about the Peruvians? Can they, do we have a trade agreement with them? Yes, and the Chileans. Come on, let's be building. Okay, let's get also a trade agreement with the Peruvian, Peruvians. And I feel like... Could be kind of tempting to bring in... Build, let's say a Pacific, a Pacific economy room. You no, know? uh, just need to kick out the Brits down here, <laughs> which is probably gonna be hard uh, due to timing issues. But sounds kind of tempting. Uh, and once again, I'm getting quickly distracted by weird things. Nevertheless, uh, no market access. This was what I tried to face. Sal Manchuria, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, we're gonna come back for the expedition in a second. Uh, Mexico, Mexican market. Uh, tea, lead, silk, uh, silk, steel, iron, fertilizer. There's a good market for the stuff we do have. Um, sugar, meat, porcelain. But it's kind of I feel like would be yeah. There's a lot of stuff. Sugar we need, fruit, but a lot of the things we actually lack also have high prices, like tea. Okay, there's actually no market for tea here. Tobacco, coffee. Mm. I'm not sure. I kind of feel like how many people live in Mexican in, in Mexico. Uh, um, population 28 million. I think we could take that. Let's maybe take on their debt. I don't want to owe them an obligation and then let's bring them to our customs union. Yeah, that's a cool idea. And maybe from there off. Ah, okay. In Guatemala and so on, they're also in the market. Oh, only Guatemala. Okay, they will drop probably. And then maybe from there off, I, I should ease also our trade with the Americans. 
Yeah, if they don't want, I can build my Pacific block. I will. Okay, let's do it. So I will take on the debt. Let's have a quick look. Uh, 1.7 million, how much did it actually is. Um, ah, nothing in comparison to our 30, 63 million loans. So we'll take over the debt. This will give us a nice... Have we already? Let's see if they accept. Probably have to accept. Uh, apart from this, uh, Italy conquers Parma. I'm happy for them to do so. Blah, blah, blah. And here we've got that we wanted to read also. At the Mountains of Madness, the expedition spot the twin volcanic peaks of Erebus and Terror on the horizon. When they were first discovered by James Clark Ross, Erebus was observed to be an eruption. Thankfully, we find mountains at peace. They rose grimly into the western sky, allowing us to distinguish various bare, bleak and blackish summits and to catch the curious sense of fantasy which they inspired as seen in the reddish Antarctic light against the provocative background of iridescent ice dust clouds. We should move on quickly, collect geological samples or ascend Mount Erebus. We will be the first to reach the crater. No, let's do it. Come on, we are. Um, we are our, our emperor wants it. Ascent Mount Erebus. Let's see if this is gonna work out well for us. In Peru is in a trade agreement. Mexico, we paid for. So from here on, is there any? No. But maybe let's. We can afford this at the moment. We are rich. Let's build our. <laughs> Pacific, <laughs> Pacific uh, Custom Union. And now I'm starting up here with Mexico. That's a, an unexpected uh, <laughs> twist, but good, cool to see now we've got Mexico in our market. Uh, probably this should end our trade route where we're selling, yeah, obviously we're not selling the grain to Mexico anymore. Um, are we... Did the cost just go down a little bit from the trade with the Americans? I'm not sure. Um, let's have a quick look how this affected our market. Not too massively. I don't see any huge reaction right now where I'm like, oh my god, this has to be changed. We can export some fruit and some... Yeah, some more Mexican fruits now to China. We need to get also some of the ships out there. So cheap. Um, small arms to the Brits. Okay, French, Russian. Yeah, yeah, you can all shoot me with my weapons. Don't you worry. The rest is pretty, pretty, pretty smooth down here still. It's good the mother drop back to their own market, right? This should... Yeah, I, and there should also be some kind of follow-up event. I don't if there's already an existing market, Customs Union, and we just take the, the leader, why would the others... I'm not sure. Uh, this is not a big criticism, just something that would be cool, no? Um, all right, the Transantarctic Mountains. The expedition has advanced through eternal days of snow marching until finding the impenetrable site of the Transantarctic Mountains. A new challenge awaits, as their routes have been scarcely documented. The ever gray, gray sky had left us in a state of cruel anesthesia, incapable of discerning the line that separated snow from atmosphere. Snow from footprints, snow from us. A sharper gray was laid before us, and its numbness, numbness resided at familiar comfort. The wall of stone has covered in white and it took us most of the day to understand that it was no vertical sky. No heaven falling upon us, the final chant, the doom trumpets, a mirage. Those were mountains. I thought we wanted to climb then. Uh, um, okay, didn't get the answer if we climbed it yet. We'll find a new route, definitely. Yeah, I feel like also, yeah, we're extending some naval bases, but also we'll build some more over here. You know, it's, or here in, uh, in, in, 
in Asia proper, here in Vladivostok, Guangdong, Formosa. Because, just simply speaking, yeah, I mean, it's like nobody here in Japan knows that this game is, uh, ends in 1936. However, you know, a fleet is probably the easiest way to get some prestige out or the strongest way to get that. And also it fits us, so of course we're gonna extend our beautiful fleet. How about the lead prices, actually? Are we done with our lead constructions? Lead, not lead, right? <laughs> Oh, it went down pretty hard, yeah. Oh, just naval bases now, yep. Oh, it's also exports them to America. Very nice. Also number white world uh, number one indeed. Okay, wow. Where are we actually number one in which productions? We can... There we go. We've got... <laughs> Let's have a quick look at where we do number one, where we produce an ironclad, clothes, motorbills, telephones, radios, luxury furniture. Fine art, not? Okay. Steamer, silk, sulfur, iron, lead. Okay, a lot of resources actually, but also high tech. It's an interesting mix. Paper, fruit, liquor. Our Chinese colonies provide us also with agricultural goods. Okay, it's pretty much, to be honest. Oh, it's hard to distinguish where we are. We're number one in oil. This is something, yeah, why are people not number two in coal? Okay, somebody does more in coal. Probably the Brits. Let's have a quick look over here. Yeah, they are number one in coal, but we produce uh, number more number one than the Brits in a lot of ways. I, I mean, we have also the higher GDP, right? 548 and the Brits, pardon me. Ah, oh, yeah, 380, so exactly. Ah, the United States are kind of catching up. Ooh, also in terms of population, I didn't see that coming. Actually, the States took over. They are bigger than us in population. They keep on growing and growing, growing. Wow, Texas super highly populated. So have a quick look who's coming there. Mexicans, okay. Fetish. French, Slovene, okay, all kind of migrations. I'm actually not sure these migration movements do they just I haven't heard of any of these bigger moves. Uh you know, these waves. Um Well, what I'm trying to say with this with the waves, uh, sometimes they would announce it, but I'm not sure if it doesn't, uh, it's not being announced when you're not um, affected by it at all. Battleships, alright. Which was over here. Now we wanna. Yeah, we need military aviation for aircraft carriers, otherwise they don't work, right? So we won't see an, uh, a Japanese aircraft carrier until 36. That's, that's such a shame if the. If the level of research stays like this, are we actually maxed out to considering the innovation? Um, no, we can do a little bit more actually. So yeah, since we were wondering what, where to invest in, let's also do this a little bit. We haven't been building a lot of universities recently, so let's see where does it make sense. Um, Why do we have a lot of... Oh, come on, Hokkaido gets some... Let's round them up. Let's build some smaller countryside uh, universities. All to level 5 in Japan. That's nice, no? <laughs> and one in Taiwan, come on. Just in case. I know it's not really important right now. We've got another 100... Authority actually. Oh, coal is such a. Where's our big coal mines in Japan? Over here in Kyushu, right? Can we actually enforce this also? Or do we have also big ones here? Hundreds. 32. No, then I will actually go towards Kyushu and once again, haven't thought it would happen. Encourage the resource industry over here. I want more 
I really want more coal out. <laughs> Got them coal. Uh, from come something from Belgium incoming, okay. Yeah, I don't want to export at all. How are the Germans actually doing in terms of their coal exploitation? Oh, come on, guys. I this I we are in the end game of the phase, and here Silesia has 10 coal mines. I can't believe that this is the case. Uh, also similar here, right? that's in Belgium. Europe has such great coal areas, you know, but they're not going to use them. How is it in England? They have really huge... Yeah, here, England built all of them. And maybe it's the political strength or the, you know, there have been a lot of revolutions in Germany as well. Maybe it's the reason behind that, but nevertheless... Wait, wait, wait. Chile has expelled our uh, uh, our, uh, our diplomats. How come? I'm improving my, my damn relations with you guys. Belligerent. Are you kidding me? How is this coming? <laughs> Chile? 31 battalion, 60 flotilla is a new thing you can be belligerent towards me. <laughs> uh, and we have a trade agreement. You annoying people <laughs> well let's have a very quick look uh, to oh mexico boom here the gdp jumped quite a lot after joining our um of our customs union however standard of living dropped so they seem to produce quite nicely but i feel like i have this strong feeling that rather we got a um good uh, market let's say for our goods and we have Burma abandoned Dainam. What is happening in Dainam? That's important to see. Oh yeah, some Cambodia thing. I mean, I mean, I mean, they won't call us in any ways. But we'll try to help. Or can they handle it? Probably they can handle it anyways. Yeah, come on, a re revolution in within Cambodia. They will be fine, they will be fine. Vietnam come could back. Oh, we can take on their dad. That's great. We're gonna do this at least. And it will not. Let's try it. I don't understand why. If they would accept it or not. They refused. Okay. As expected. But we're getting closer. Oh, now they accept. Okay. And we actually can also stop the bank rolling here, I guess. Because... Ta-da! Finally, we could repair the damage, the diplomatic damage that has been done by the last war and the alliance break. So we've got the Japanese market back in Vietnam as well. Wonderful to see. Thereby... Yeah, Mexico. Who's the next target? I mean... Honduras is not at the coast, so nope. Don't want to be part of our... They don't even have an open market, Nicaragua, okay. Oh well, mercantilism. In what state is this, Tavanitsu? Are they free? I can remember there was a Quechua re revolution at some point. There's actually a free Quechua state here in the southern coast of Colombia. That's impressive. Um, we could go and take a treaty port over here, sure. Nah, we don't want to get too involved. Here, like, like Galapagos is a treaty port. I don't want to get too involved over here, um, best case diplomatically if I can. Alright, uh, we're running out of construction um, possibilities once again. <laughs> Iron, oil, wine, sulfur, steel, yeah, steel is a little bit of a thing. But actually steel we can electrify, right? That's the thing. Yeah. And we, we've got to the point where our electricity got pretty cheap, that's a nice thing, so we can actually do it. Kyushu. And Shuguku. It's... Actually, at this time, let's do it everywhere. We shall see the 
output uh, iron probably going up in the price can we import iron somewhere else from the russians okay then electricity price where are you where are you going to oh it went up it went up by far so actually uh, i guess it's the time again where we build some power plants <laughs> very fascinating let's build actually then just in case just for some gas coal in manchuria so let's build some tiny little power plants over here then here extend here we also want to create but we also want to create jobs in japan sure Ooh, 1.5 million unemployed still here Where is the turmoil in Kansai? Still a turmoil basically here in Kansai and Chubu. That's so annoying. <laughs> but it's probably the unemployed or the political problems. What we got here? Um, a Philippine uprising. Oh, what a surprise. Wait, 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 wait a sec. Who's the... Uh... Wait, the Philippines, they are our, are they fighting an active war right now versus Mindanao or what? How am I not involved? Or did I not see this one? Crush pseudo secession, revoke Philippine claims. This is happening right now, okay. And this is another secession. But it's the Philippine uprising, not the Philippines, very interesting. Yeah, sometimes these diplomatic plays confuse me, <laughs> as you might have noticed. Oh, our Antarctic expedition are halfway done. I thought just for a second, oh, really do making great progress, but not ne uh, necessarily. Ah, uh, yeah. And our tax relief really pushed the economy forward. I really feel like, as you see, standard of living or the standard of living was pushed forward. Economy is rising, anyways. So Goku, okay. I'm gonna get some ports out. Yeah, I don't want to have full government administration here in the in the colonies. Sorry, guys. Okay. I hope we're gonna be in a bureaucratic plus again at some point the most dangerous game we went in the french west indies returning from a safari expedition sama tayamato uh, who's he prince <laughs> what is my, <laughs> my my okay my young my heir and my zero <laughs> zero year son with great hair gray hair and does he have a beard this baby is this a mustache? Uh, I feel like there's something going by massively wrong. However, this zero <laughs> one year old baby is going for the safari expedition also in the French West Indies. So um, Samata Yamato was marooned on a small island in the French West Indies. There he was hunted like an animal by the Spanish. What the hell? <laughs> the tiny Spanish aristocrat Jose Maria de Silva. Splendid. One of us is to furnish a repast from the hounds. The other will sleep in this very excellent bed on guard, Samata. Samata had never slept in a bed. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this? This is, reminds me of The Simpsons or Archer, like uh, cartoon shows where this actual man hunts uh, the French West Indies. <laughs> What's an international event or something? And the Spanish, the Spanish Jose Maria de Silva killed our heir while hunting. Huh? I thought he died. That's extremely weird. <laughs> but he seems to be... He, apparently the Spaniards thought he died. Um, <laughs> well, 
this is a very interesting um, start in the year 32 actually and um, yeah something to think about and something remarkable to remember so yeah um, I think this is also a very good point to stop because it completely stopped my concentration but it's anyways half an hour so yeah thank you very much for watching uh, let me know what you think about this very French Indian safari where this is coming from I really haven't seen this so far uh, thank you for watching leave me a like and a subscription if you haven't yet it helps the channel a lot and costs you nothing um, and yeah see you next time when we go towards last years of this Japanese empire in Victoria thank you for watching see you then you're stretchy wolf bye